What's up everybody? We're here at Retro Madness. A few vendors, a lot of really good stuff actually that came out today. Uh, there's Padawan. Box games. A lot of good stuff too. Um, this guy just sold out, Armando. We got Juan. <laughs> there's like, there was nothing anyway. A lot of vintage toys. I picked up some really cool stuff from Juanito. And then we got Parks booth. Yeah, this one too. Yeah. Why is this like? I wasn't worried. Yeah. No, I'm not buying it right now. I'm holding off for it at the moment. We got some games. We got more stuff this way. Picked up some really cool stuff from Aaron. Figures. More figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing live. <laughs> For the YouTube channel, this is a really cool Star Fox. Later, guys. Can you see it? Yeah. All right, see you later, Armando. Yeah, see this. Star Fox. Nice. Ooh, damn. Five bucks. Right up. So, if you guys have never seen that, that's pretty dope. That's two that he has. Really nice. And of course, you got some model kits as well. Then we got some Japanese port stuff. Ooh! Yeah. Games here. You know, we got a box Golden Sun, Golden Sun, and Sword of Mana for the GBA. Dogbone controllers. Nice. Some set riders, yeah, that was a good game. Bacula X. Some good stuff here. We got more stuff over there. Holy moly. Come right behind you, sorry. Shit. So what is it? I mean, I already have all of these. Uh, you have all of them? Yeah, I have all of them. Damn. This is Juanito. Yeah, Oh, okay. I think I know you guys don't, I don't know what you guys are. Still talk? Or? I know Juanito. You guys still cool now? Woo! Which one? I saw that. It's pretty cool. That choice is cool. This is from Kelly from yesterday, I think. Ghost, ghost. Yeah, what's over here? Watch Batman. Those are cool. Let me see. I won't buy anything though. No. I don't need anything. These are cool though because I don't have all of them. I only have the creature. I mean, I already have all those, but all. Where's the creature at? No creature. They're all from the place. Yeah, he doesn't have one. Ah, that one, that one. Uh, it's way off the price, bro. I know. <laughs> I got it. I got, I'm glad I got it for 40 bucks. I was like, yes. For 40 bucks? Yeah, on eBay. But I have them in the collection. Chico drones. 
What's up, guys? So this is what I picked up at Retro Madness at Games Towers event here in California. Outstanding event. was successful. A lot of great people. Um, someone messaged me about these, that he bought a huge toy lot and he wanted to sell these. Uh, we never worked out a deal, so he ended up bringing it to the event, and it worked out great. I got this stuff for a killer, killer deal. Uh, he just wanted to move this stuff, and I got it for over 200 bucks. It was not a problem, which is the steal price for this stuff. Um, but anyways, it worked out great. Yeah, he wanted what he, he got the price that he wanted. He said, the more you take, the better the deal. So I did that. And of course, I got some, bra everything's brand new, factory sealed or never been open except for these guys right here, but they're still brand new. Um, so I got a lot of stuff that I know that I collect and, and love. Uh, so we got some street sharks. Um, I think the only one I'm keeping is this guy here, uh, Ripster, but we'll see right now. Uh, we got some Manta Man, brand new sealed. Uh, I'm gonna put them up here really quick for you guys. Oh, this is my favorite. Look at the box art. I remember this as a kid. Open these up every time. I had a, I have a lot of Street Shark, but I don't have any of them sealed. So I, I do want to keep these guys. But, you know, I might actually just keep them because I don't have any at all. And I got it for a great, great price. So I'm sure I'll sell something in my collection that I don't need and um, get all that stuff for free and, you know, keep this stuff. Because I'm trying to downsize on my collection, but I, I know what I want to keep. Now, these are super badass. These are the stuff that I collect, Shogun Warrior stuff. These are model kits. Um, you know, these are brand new. Like, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So, this is Ray Dean. If I can get this open. So, it's kind of late. It's already in the afternoon. We left around 1 o'clock. But check that out. Brand new. Never been assembled. Um, and you get to custom paint these. But these are going to stay uh, like this. Um, to the end of days with me so these are gonna stay in my collection for sure and plus these are like you know they're not easy to find but they're not super expensive either well i mean they're not cheap either they're like around you know like around 50 to 75 i want to say but i got them for a great price and you know you know he got the stuff for you know super cheap from what he was telling me so he made money and got stuff for his collection and i got stuff for my collection there we got a guy king there we got Raider that was up there. So that was Raider, Guy King, Raideen, and Munzinger. So I am missing uh, Grandizer and Dragoon. But we got Munzinger. Really nice piece here. Model kit. So I'll keep these bad boys in the collection. Um, and then I got this for 20 bucks. This is a killer price. Not a bad price. I think it goes for about 40. Like around 40. I want to say 30, 35, 40. But for 20 bucks, uh, I'm just going to start collecting Predator figures. I mean, they're badass. I love the NECA figures. They just released the new ones from the comics, which are outstanding. So I got to pick those up at Target sometime soon if I get the chance. But for 20 bucks for this nice Predator uh, Versalian set, I had to pick this up for the collection. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really big onto new toys, but it, when it comes to Predator stuff, it's just something that I love that I grew up with when I was a kid. So um, I got to show you guys the best for last. Uh, so let's just show you guys because this is the cream of the crop for me. We got the Epic Fighter. Um, this is like a ship that holds the Predator figures or the Alien figures as well, which when you decide... They both fit in there, actually. Um, I did see one of these loose way back then, but I didn't pick it up because it was missing all the parts. But this is brand new, sealed, never been opened. And the best for last, I did pick up this open. I mean, actually not open, but complete, but loose, is the Queen Hive. Now, this is not a cheap set. Um, they usually go around 100 bucks. I want to say. Um, so, you kind of pretty much gave me a really great deal on this. I, I you know, I paid... I, the one that I have complete it doesn't have the, the the ooze but I paid like 40 bucks I think as I remember I think it was like 35 I want to say 30 or 40 I paid for it loose um, and then I got it right here brand new factory shields for that same price so like I said I got a really killer price on this stuff so I mean I might just end up keeping both I was gonna sell my loose one but I mean I can't even I don't I'm afraid to open it you know so why not keep one sealed and have one open as a display and have this as a back art piece um, once I get my house uh, once I buy my own home and you know get everything sorted out I'll be able to display all this really cool stuff uh, but I am gonna sit down on my collection I think I might not keep this actually because I was thinking about it but just this is gonna take a lot of space and uh, this could kind of help me recoup some of the money back so not that bad that was cool that was a really awesome fine and i got like I said, i'm gonna show you guys the loose figures as well sorry for the long video but i thought i'd share this with you guys um you know if you guys can always find old vintage toys or even from the 90s sealed you know most of the time you know, they're gonna be worth something so um not as you know it does take time selling this stuff but there's always collectors for them you know so i thought that was awesome find here with these shogun warriors for the collection 
I mean, damn. I just, I'm missing two more for the full set, so that's going to be a tough to, not a tough set to complete, but to get the Grand Desert guys, not going to be easy. And uh, some of the stuff that I didn't get, I get the chance to sell, I didn't put, but I got this stuff. And I think you guys saw this, some of this stuff already. Um, I got this really cool uh, monster or like zombie controller for the PS2. These, if you ever find these guys, grab them. They're really cool. Um, then we got this guy from Ghostbusters, Majora's Mask. I got that. And uh, then, of course, for four bucks, I got more Street Sharks. That was cool. Four bucks for Ripster. Another guy, I forgot this guy's name. Um, I have this one already, so I don't need these guys. I already have full of those. And like I said, I think I showed you guys the Dinobots. Uh, thanks to Juan for the Clash of Titan figures. I got like the, almost the whole set there uh, with Pegasus. Um, I think, oh yeah, of course, a nice water. I'm just kidding, guys. And, uh, yeah, Lion. Some stuff for the for the store, for the booth that I have. Just the people that, you know, people love. These guys were pretty, pretty you know, they might sell pretty well there. So, some people will love that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys enjoying this stuff. Hope you guys are out there hunting. And, you know, go to trade events. Sometimes people bring toys. That's what happens, you know. They always let me know right away. Hey, go on. I got some toys, like, for a dollar, a few bucks. And I always buy them because, you know, they're good figures. They're good collectibles. So, thanks for watching, guys.